solve this equation. This is a polynomial equation of degree six. By rearranging the equation, we can now write third to the power of six minus four thousand and ninety six equals zero. Power of a power rule, a to the power of m, or to the power of n equals a to the power of mn. By applying this rule, that to the power of six can be written as that cubed or squared four thousand and ninety six can be written as sixty four squared. This is a difference of two squares. We know that a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b times a minus b. By applying this, we can now write that cubed plus 64 times that cubed minus 64 equals 0. 64 can be written as 4 cubed. So either that cubed plus for cubed equals zero, or that cubed minus for cubed equals zero. Case one, that cubed plus for cubed equals zero. We know that a cubed plus b cubed can be written as a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. By applying this, we can now write third plus four times third squared minus four thirds plus sixteen equals zero. So either third plus four equals zero. So that one equals minus four or that squared minus four thirds plus sixteen equals zero. That squared minus four thirds can be written as thirds minus two or squared minus four. Sixteen minus four is twelve. We move twelve to the right hand side of the equation. Now we square root both sides of the equation and we can now write third minus two equals plus minus root minus twelve. So third two three equals two plus minus two root three times i is two that's cubed minus four cubed equals zero. We know that a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. By applying this, we can now write that minus four times that squared plus four thirds plus 16 equals zero. So either thirds minus four equals zero. So that four equals four or that squared plus four thirds plus 16 equals zero. That squared plus four thirds can be written as third plus two or squared minus four minus four plus sixteen is twelve. We move twelve to the right hand side of the equation. Now we square root both sides of the equation and we can now write third plus two equals plus minus roots minus 12. So 
that's five, six equals minus two plus minus two root three times I.